Hello and welcome to Dr. Ozello Sports Medicine Report. I am Dr. Donald Ozello of Championship Chiropractic in Las Vegas, Nevada. Today I'm going to be discussing motion exercises called nerve slides. Nerve slides are also known as nerve glides and neural mobilization. Nerve slides are used for conditions where there is scar tissue encasement on a nerve. Some of these conditions include thoracic outlet syndrome, cubital tunnel syndrome, sciatica, carpal tunnel syndrome, and tarsal tunnel syndrome. Symptoms of a nerve impingement or nerve entrapment condition include sharpshooting shock-like pain, numbness, tingling, burning, heaviness, fatigue, cold, swelling, and in long-standing cases there can be muscle atrophy. Nerves are positioned in between muscles or run through muscles on their course from the spinal cord to their destination in the extremities. There is a normal sliding motion between the nerves and the muscles or other surrounding tissues that exist when there is no nerve impingement present. When nerve impingement occurs, this sliding motion ceases. This causes scar tissue to form and encase the nerve over the surrounding tissues. The gentle sliding motion of the nerve slide exercises helps to reestablish proper motion between the nerves and the surrounding tissues by decreasing scar tissue formation that is encasing the nerves. Nerve slides are specific motion exercises. They work by moving the limb from a position where the nerve is on its shortest path to a position where the nerve is on its longest path. The motion should be very slow and controlled and precise. Nerve slides can be used as a preventative measure. They can be used when symptoms first begin, or they can be used on a long-standing case. Nerve slide exercises, just like any other exercise, if they elicit symptoms or they intensify symptoms, should be stopped. If this happens, then another nerve slide should be used as a replacement that does not elicit or intensify symptoms. When nerve slides are performed, they should be done in a slow, controlled, and precise manner. Start with the number of repetitions that you can perform slowly while you are learning the motion. This can be one or two each day. And as you learn the motion, you can increase to between five and 10 each day. Nerve slides are an effective tool that you can use in the prevention, management, and rehabilitation of nerve entrapment injuries. If you have one of these injuries, use nerve slides in conjunction with chiropractic care, with stretching, with yoga, use those tools to help you to overcome a nerve entrapment condition. You can use proper ergonomics, frequent breaks at the computer workstation, dynamic motions performed during those breaks, proper nutrition and supplementation strategies that work for you in conjunction with the nerve slide exercises. Make sure that you take a look at the comments section below. There's going to be links to nerve entrapment conditions and nerve slide exercises. These are all videos that I did. Some of them are going to be on my site and some of them are going to be on another YouTube page where I teach from. It's called CC Ed Seminars. So go ahead and take a look at those videos. You will understand how to perform the nerve slides and you will understand the conditions that these nerve slides are designed to treat. Some of the conditions that you're going to see are carpal tunnel syndrome, cubital tunnel syndrome, thoracic outlet syndrome, sciatica, tarsal tunnel syndrome. Thank you for viewing today's episode of Dr. Ozello Sports Medicine Report. I am Dr. Donald Ozello of Championship Chiropractic in Las Vegas, Nevada. I am the author of Running, Maximize Performance and Minimize Injuries. You can go to my website, championshipchiropractic.com, where you can get more information on the book and you can see my blog. My blog contains articles about spine health, sports medicine, health, and fitness. Please feel free to like this video. If you have questions, feedback, or suggestions, please leave them in the comments section below. Please subscribe to my YouTube page, Dr. Donald A. Ozello, DC, and always remember, Train hard, train smart, get adequate rest between training sessions, 
Utilize nutritional and supplementation strategies that work for you. Stay injury-free and accomplish your goals.